If you are looking to build generative AI applications in AWS Cloud, then you might have heard of AWS Bedrock. AWS Bedrock is a service from AWS which provides you an API interface to various large language models. I have a full course on AWS Bedrock if you're interested, but for this video, I'm going to show you a demo where you can configure AWS Bedrock with VPC endpoint or private link. The advantage of this is to ensure data privacy and security. Because if you look at this diagram, what happens is that, for example, you have your EC2 instance or Lambda functions or whatever your application is, and you want that application to interact or get integrated with Bedrock, then if you have a usual setup, then your AWS Lambda might talk to uh, NAT gateway in public subnet. So for example, your AWS Lambda is in private subnet, which means there is no internet connectivity. And in order to go to um, internet, because you would need to talk to AWS Bedrock service endpoint, you would first go to NAT gateway in public subnet that net gateway will send your connection to internet gateway, which will take it out of the AWS cloud from at internet because AWS Bedrock service provide or any other AWS service that provides a public endpoint. So that is where uh, it might not be acceptable for a lot of uh, companies, and especially when it comes to compliance, to send your traffic outside of your uh, cloud infrastructure. That is where private link or VPC endpoint comes handy. VPC endpoint enables you to access AWS services without even going to internet. So for example, if your AWS Lambda wants to talk to Bedrock service, then instead of going through NAT gateway and internet gateway, it will simply talk to VPC endpoint, as you can see in this diagram, and then that VPC endpoint will send that traffic on the AWS own network or backbone to Bedrock service, and then you will get the response back and your traffic won't be leaving AWS's own network. So that's what the idea is. Now for this video, we are going to implement all of this infrastructure. I will show you how to create VPC endpoint for Bedrock service, then how to write a Lambda, and then how to integrate that Lambda through VPC endpoint to your Bedrock service. So let's get started. I'm already logged into my AWS account, as you can see here. First step we need to do is to make sure that we have a private subnet. So let's click here and go to VPC in the services. Access your service. Let's wait for it to open. Takes a bit of a time sometimes. And then we have this default VPC. Then here you can see that all the information about your VPC on the left hand side, click on subnets. And there I have a lot of subnets, but I have two private subnets. And how do we know these are private subnets? Just click on one, go to route table, and you see there is no route to internet. What it means is if I click, for example, to any other subnet, go to route, there is this 000 route to internet gateway. So it means that the traffic from this subnet is going to internet. But if I click on this private subnet, there is no such route. There is only local route. So we have a private subnet one. This is the subnet we'll be using. If you uh, don't have a private subnet, all you need to do is to just click on this create subnet orange button, select your VPC, and then just give any name, come down, and then select your CIDR range of IPs and create subnet. And then you need to attach a route table, which doesn't have route to internet. So we have our private subnet ready. In the next step, let's create two security groups. On the left hand side, click on security groups. Now security groups are like a firewall. You define inbound and outbound rules here that which traffic can come and which traffic can go. If you remember my previous diagram, we are sending our traffic from our Lambda function to VPC endpoint and from VPC endpoint to Lambda function. So that is why we need to create two security groups. So let's quickly create the security groups. Let's click on create security group and then let's give it a name. Uh, this security group I'm going to create for 
VPC endpoint, so I'm just going to name it Bedrock endpoint SG. Just give the same in the description. Keep the VPC as is, and then just keep the inbound rule as is and output bound as is. Let's first create the security group, and then we are going to set up the rules. So that is done. Go to security groups. You see that our Bedrock endpoint security group is done. Let's click again. And then here, let's create a security group for our Lambda function. And then just select uh, VPC as is. Keep all of this as is for now. We will uh, use it later on. Just click on create security group. And both security groups are done as you can see. Now, let's first uh, click on our Bedrock Lambda security group. And we are going to set up the some rules click on edit inbound rules in the uh, inbound rules let's add rule say all traffic and then source custom and here just uh, select your endpoint security group which you created because that is where we want to accept the traffic from and then click save rule now our outbound rule is already set to all traffic so just leave it as is no problems here so now our lambda security group is done go back to security groups and now click on our uh, endpoint security group okay let's first go to inbound here click edit inbound rule add rule all traffic and keep custom as is and here in the uh, lambda one just simply select our endpoint rule the uh, bedrock endpoint sg instead of lambda sg because that is what we are setting okay sorry uh, here we will set we will be setting the lambda uh, security group because this is a uh, endpoint security group so that's done save rule here that is cool and in the outbound it's already set to all which is great okay so click back and now just select first our just to double check select our lambda sg security group click on inbound you can see that the traffic is going to the bedrock endpoint sg which is good and outbound is also zero zero which is good and then just drag it down a bit unselect select this one and in the back uh, first select inbound rule and all the traffic in our uh, our endpoint sg is going to lambda bedrock and outbound is going to all so our security groups are done and this is the most confusing part so hopefully uh, i was able to clarify it if still not just pause it and watch it again because sometimes it gets a bit confusing anyway so our um, security groups are done now in the third step uh, or should I say fourth step let's create our VPC endpoint so click on services or maybe they are yeah, they are there in the left hand side click on endpoints now for bedrock we need to create two endpoints first let's go here and let's call it uh, uh, bedrock endpoint as okay let's call it bedrock EP and you can give it any name in the services simply type bedrock now here is an another confusing part you can see we have three services with bedrock so we have to create this bedrock one first and then we will select bedrock runtime you can leave the agent runtime for now because we are not creating any agent so we give the name bedrock dash ep then aws services bedrock and select the vpc where everything already is no need to change this additional one we already are using it now everything i have is in us east 1c uh, subnet so that is where my private subnet one is then come down and from here because we are creating the endpoint so just select bedrock endpoint security group here give full access to policy and then create endpoint endpoint is being created let's create another endpoint this endpoint should be called as an 
Petrock Runtime EP Again search for Petrock And here simply select last one Petrock dash runtime Select your VPC Come down again US East 1C And our private subnet And security group will be Petrock endpoint SG And then just call it uh, Full access create endpoint that's it and this is both of them are created but as you can see status is pending so you need to wait until it becomes available that takes bit of a time so while that happens um, let's wait for it and then we will proceed further okay both of them are available after few minutes now let's create our lambda function so click on services on top left and then click on lambda okay so i don't have any lambda function just click on create a function scratch is fine i'm just going to call it um maybe bed bedrock lambda just give it any name of your choice i'm going to write it in python select python 3.12 because that might in, that will have our uh, bedrock services boto 3 okay so just uh, click on execution role now th make sure that whatever execution role which is the IAM role you have should have bedrock in it so I already have this role with the bedrock and I'm going to show you to let me click here it will open this role in another window so when you create a lambda execution role these two policies will be there automatically you don't have to worry about them this is a third policy you need to create so if i open it this allows all the uh, permissions to bedrock service now if you don't know how to create it it's very simple just click on add permission create inline policy let it load then select a service I'm just going to say bedrock select bedrock and then action allowed all resources all I know this is secure not a good security practice but we are just doing a demo and then click next 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 and it is going to create that policy for you I already have created it okay let me click cancel and continue so my lambda execution role already has this policy so that is the role i have selected here in the lambda console click on advanced setting because we are keeping this lambda in the vpc so click on enable vpc then select your vpc scroll down and then just select any subnet of your choice i'm done uh, i mean the private subnet which we already have so just one is fine and now security group for the lambda which we created which was our bedrock lambda sg so this is where naming convention helps a lot so you don't have to poke around okay so that's done let's click on create function and it is going to create the function here as you are creating it in the vpc so it takes a bit of a time sometimes so don't worry about it let this blue ribbon finish it will turn green when it is done and then I will show you the code which I'm going to use for this lambda. Let's wait, or maybe I can put the code code bin well. There you go. So this is a code I'm going to use. Now simple I'm importing Boto3 and JSON. It's a lambda handler. These are two uh, Boto3 clients for this service for bedrock and bedrock runtime. Because this uh, runtime is used to invoke and question the models. I really don't know why they have two runtimes anyway. So after taking this, I'm just looping through these models and then uh, getting the model name which uh, Bedrock supports. I have various videos on Bedrock where I explain in great detail as how this Bedrock works. But let's, for the purpose of this, let's wait for this one to uh, finish creating the Bedrock and then we'll test it. So idea again is that because this lambda function is in VPC, right? So it doesn't have internet connectivity. For internet connectivity, it should be going through our VPC endpoints, which we have created for both of these services for bedrock and bedrock runtime. So let's wait for this one to finish creating the lambda. 
So Lambda has been created and then just I have clicked on this deploy. One more thing I would suggest you do is go to configuration, go to general config and increase the runtime um, of this Lambda to maybe let's say 15 seconds because sometimes it takes a bit of a time to access the service. It's always a good idea. 15 seconds is fine. Just click on save. Now go to code again and then here let's create a dummy test case click on test just give it test here save and then click on test there you go so our status code is 200 and we have received the information about all the models like titan stxl jurassic and all that from our petrox service by using vpc endpoint so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it don't worry about all the commands and steps i have used i will put them on my blog and i'll drop the link to that blog in my video's description so that you can follow along and create your own setup so thanks for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and it was useful if you're still stuck having issues feel free to put it in the comments and i'll be very happy to help if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching